Hey, it's Jester. I forgot to mention a couple things really quick in regards to what's going up on the My Little Buggy channel. The full streams for Dr. Hooves slash Dr. or I was going to say Dr. Who because I said Dr. Hooves. But uh, the full length of his streams will go to the My Little Buggy channel while some of the better clips will come up on this Jester Dayrama channel. Other than that, I unfortunately had lost my job a couple of weeks ago and am currently unemployed. If you are wanting to and are willing, I have support options in the description below through Patreon, GameWisp, uh, even I think I have my PayPal set up or Streamlabs set up that you can donate any amount that you want to help support to how I'm doing. But right now I'm in the process of getting unemployment, but other than that, I will be going into more detail on that in the Just Some Heart to Heart video, which follows this video. So, for right now, you just enjoy this video. Thank you! Hello and welcome, buggies. I am your bug master. Or just, you know, a bug. The bug of this channel. Your friendly gaming bug, Jester Rama. How are you doing? I am doing, mm, but I will go into detail on that in the Just Some Heart to Heart video, which will be up around the same time this video will, so you can easily see what is going on with me more personally. But you came here to see updates for content to be presented to you, and that will be considering the other channel that I have. My Little Buggy, it is linked below, and over there is where cosplay and non-gaming fandom videos will be. So like, brony and furry stuff will be over there, while gaming stuff will be on this particular channel. So if that makes sense, I don't know if it necessarily does, because you would think having everything in one area would be nice and convenient. But not according to YouTube's algorithms that are oh so great for us YouTubers trying to do stuff. I'm sure you probably may have heard by now that the YouTube Partner Program is going to have some changes. It has two stipulations in order for you to be a partner now. And that bar has been set higher for a lot of smaller YouTubers you are required to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of view time over 365 days. Now you can have those 1,000 subscribers at any point as long as you have at least 1,000 subscribers. But if you uh, kind of clock below that 4,000 hour mark like I am currently, there's a chance that we will be losing our partnership. And I've been partnered with YouTube for about Geez, I want to say 10 years since now this will be my 12th year on YouTube. I've been on there since about 2006, and let me tell you, there are lots of changes that have happened, and not everyone's been happy, because everyone has to get used to every change that happens. There it's oh my god, there have been so many changes to YouTube over the years that you could just ask, like, two different YouTubers, so long as they're from different timelines, of the, well, you know, this timeline. And they'll give you different stories on the likes and dislikes of the changes of YouTube over time. And, in my opinion, I still miss the old bulletin uh, feature, which would allow you to post a text post to your subscribers saying, Hey, I'm doing this thing that'll be coming out soon, or hey, I'm making a video that'll come out so-and-so time, or hey, I can't do the thing right now. Stuff like that. It was convenient. It was like Twitter on YouTube without needing to go through the character limit. You would have your title, and then the body of your message. That's years ago. That's uh, like way far back. That's like when I was in, still in high school. 04 to 08 uh, was my high school time. And that's also around the area where they get rid of bulletins and uh, towards my, the end of my high school years. But anyways, I'm digressing a little bit from what should be, uh, you know, an update video. So, to reiterate, cosplay, and you know, like even anime cosplay, or brony cosplay, or furry cosplay, um, all fandom stuff like that, not just specifically only cosplay or just vlogs, I mean, there's gonna be some interactive videos, probably somewhere down the pipe. 
or down the line, you know, whichever term you want to use. But, again, this will be a personal channel. The Yesterday Rama channel will stay more of a personal channel because, well, it's my online name. I'm Yesterday Rama, even though my real name is Zach. You didn't hear that from me. Well, Zachary. But, yeah, you can just... You can just call me Jester just because... See, I'm kind of weird about that. I treat my name, my real name, different from my online name, but they have two different effects on me when I hear the either name. It's like, if someone I don't, don't know says my real name, I'm like, oh, I'm not sure about that. But it's like, hey, Jester. I'm like, oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm... I'm more easy going about that. I mean, I'm not sure why. I just... Finding myself is a thing, and again, I'll go into detail about that on the update, sorry, heart to heart video. This is the update video. So this video is to tell you updates, and that will include like more vlogs, eventual music, reviews, opinions, reactions, but I will also be adding more voice acting stuff to this channel. That means like stuff I'll be now m probably sharing from a site I recently joined, Casting Call Club. It's a uh, voice actor slash project manager site that is for video and audio productions. So like I'm part of Hooves and Assistant, which is an audio production. They would be a post on Casting Call Club saying, Hey, we're this production and we're looking for so-and-so character and so-and-so character number two. And we, you can easily distinguish who you need characters and where the auditions can go. Because the auditions will go specific to whichever character is posted. So it's like John Doe, Angry, blah, blah, blah. Happy, blah, blah, blah. Jane Doe, Happy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, confused, blah blah blah. And you can easily add your auditions to those specific roles. And I thought that was pretty convenient and I'm really trying to break more into voice acting but I found the site and found it to be a good window to grow myself as a voice actor who I can kinda consider myself a little bit of an amateur, not so much a professional even though some people might think, dude, you sound good, you sound great, you have a perfect voice for voice acting and radio. Well, I appreciate the compliment, but I do need more practice and I will be planning on getting more formal training. But that will be de dependent on time and money because that's always like what it comes down to with everything is just the time and money. Can you afford the time and can you afford it in general monetarily? So, I did audition for one uh, group so far on the site for a lead role, and I got the lead role. It is for a sci-fi anthropomorphic animal audio production, or that, sorry, an audio book that will be hosted somewhere I have not been told yet, but I am a male lead for that, and I was kind of surprised. It was my first audition. I did a few takes and then sent my best ones in, at least what I consider my best ones, and the director was like, dude, nice audition. Now, if you're watching this, you know who you are, so, hi, you fancy espion. Yeah, they're a poke nerd like I am a furry brony nerd, and I did Pokemon stuff before, but yeah, I'm digressing again. So. There is something else I did want to address in this update video, and that was that I am seeking a volunteer editor to help uh, edit the gaming videos. And right now, I unfortunately, you might be seeing this coming, I cannot provide a compensation monetarily at this time, because all I can really offer is you being involved with my videos, projects, and getting a form of notice. So if you are interested in being a volunteer 
editor and you're not obligated to do this and you can tell me if you only can do it for so and so amount of time if you only can do it for so and so amount of time please let me know but if you are interested I think probably what would make sense would be to just use the comments section in the YouTube video so this all stays in one place you know and say hey I'm interested in being a volunteer editor for your videos so all you have to do is like just say hey I'm interested in being a volunteer editor and then I could probably ask hey you have discord or something like and oh wait YouTube doesn't do private messages anymore how convenient um well I do have my personal discord server in which we can uh, congregate and communicate so I would say if if you're one that wants to be an editor and will probably show like a link to something of yours I can go oops my computer just decided to dim itself hey wake up hey I don't want black screen that kind of ruins the whole lighting effect oh my god computers so cooperative so anyways right if you want to be an editor and I've said this like what the fifth time <laughs> Please comment below and provide a link, if possible, of what you've edited before. Because I need help editing, and my will to do editing has been... <laughs> but that's because of my mental illness, which, again, I'll want to address in another video since... I don't want to bog you guys down, even though you guys are okay with saying, Hey, wanna know what's going on with you? That's great, and I appreciate it. But... I kind of want to separate the updates. Man, I haven't been... I'm repeating myself. My god. I'm so worried about the content I bring that it's making me just go, Oh, nervousness. I'm not about to repeat. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> so, I want to make sure I've addressed almost everything so far with channel differences, editor stuff, and content stuff. So, other than that... In regards to the stream uploads, YouTube, I don't know if it's a right place to do full stream uploads as compared to a more edited Let's Play video, which would be like in sections. And I honestly, I need a bit of help learning kind of what I need to take apart and keep for, you know, uploads. So if it was going to be something like best of, oh geez, let's just say Five Nights again. Well, let's like say I am having trouble with night four and five. I can just edit through all the silence and bad jokes and get to the good parts, but sometimes I don't really know what the good parts are. So that's where I can have a bit of a problem. But that being said, I am hosting a Twitter poll asking you where you want the stream uploads to be either here on YouTube or over on wherever I should point, I don't know, because other websites are just everywhere, because, you know, the web is intangible. And, you know, fight the government for net neutrality. That's still important. That's still a thing. We still got to keep an eye on that. So, anyways, the, if you want my full stream uploads to be on YouTube, please add your vote to the Twitter poll. And same goes for if you want the full stream uploads on Twitch. And personally, I haven't checked out the upload uh, process for Twitch. So I would be finding out probably some new stuff over there. But I kind of feel like maybe the streams probably should go over on Twitch. But I know some of you want to be caught up for whatever happens in the stream. Which was why I originally wanted to put full streams up on YouTube but I haven't really seen much traffic further than people who might have been past viewers so it's making me think well what's a better place to really have those streams the place I hosted the stream or the place that I host my videos you know what I mean so yeah in short here's a TLD oh I had it correct the first time I was gonna I'm so used to stuttering and slipping my words, I just thought I was going to mess up on the spot. So, 
TLDR, I want to thank you for the huge response that you have given to the Doctor Who... Not Doctor... I can do this. I can do this. I can't remember if I actually did do the thank you at the beginning, but if I didn't, I will say so now. Thank you very much for the large response you have given me for the Doctor Who's Q&A and request video. I was not expecting 20 comments to pop up, and... I've done repostings in the same places for my other videos and not had the same amount of interaction that the Dr. Whovis one has. And that leads me to kind of think, yeah, I'm, I'm jumping out of TLDR. Forget TLDR. Well, this is a frickin' vlog. Who cares? So, for the Dr. video, I was pleasantly surprised and I am happy to provide content. And that will be coming soon, so long as I can make sure, you know, everything's in repair. And if you can't tell, this is a Velcro strip that was for one of the hooves to keep it closed. And yeah, I was looking to the side because I have a camera that actually shows what I, what, what I look like, what I'm doing. So unfortunately, this came out of one of the arms and now I have to re-hot glue it if I can find the hot glue gun. So that way I don't have this weird flap on the doctor's arm. But yeah, it's a little bit of a cosplay secret. Shh. So, thank you for your large response to the Doctor Hooves. Yeah, I want to keep on saying Doctor, Doctor Who, Doctor Hooves. This is the problem with my mindset. I'm thinking of five things at once. It just it doesn't stop. So. If you want to add any more questions or make any requests for me to do anything family friendly as the doctor, Dr. Hooves, I will link the video within the description right below. You know, below my brother's YouTube and the My Little Buggy channel and also the server for my Discord. So, that will be, you know what, I'll just link it above, because the video first, links mentioned, and then the rest of my links. So that's how it's going to work. And continuing on to my supposed TLDR, cosplay and non-gaming fandom videos, I am enunciating precisely because differentiation of preferences. So, cosplay and non-gaming fandom videos will go on the My Little Buggy channel, as it was kind of themed after the name My Little Pony. I just thought My Little Buggy worked because I have a bit of a bug theme going on, and people call me Bug because, well, in the brony community, I'm a changeling, and changelings, they're buggy pony dragon looking things. But I gave mine hair because, you know, OCs. OCs are all the rage. But yeah, any furry stuff I'll have, that'll go on the My Little Buggy channel as well. So yeah. And if I didn't address my art before, I will now. I am slowly getting more active into art, despite my mental illness. So there is that, and I'm trying to do what I can to get help. So next thing would be that this Just a Dorama channel will be mainly gaming and variety coming from me. So this is like more of the home-based channel, really. It'll have personal vlogs, you know, further than the update vlog that we have going on right here. Music, reviews, my opinions, because everyone has an opinion. I will see what I can do about reactions, and voice acting will be a thing again. Again. And I will be working on doing a voice demo when I'm doing better. And this will also be during recordings that I'll be sending to the production group that I recently became a part of. For the production is called Frontier. And I am a male lead character. And I'm interested to see how it's gonna go because I'm it's gonna be it's a little bit different, but not too different from where I've been doing my voice acting stuff with Dr. Who's an assistant and a uh, little bit on Sherlock. Well, the division at 221B. I should have them linked below in the production links. If I don't, I'll make sure I do. 
so I do oh I do recommend going to cast and call club if you are someone that is new into in voice new new to voice acting I couldn't think of the right transition word if you are newer to voice acting but you have a bit of a you know, like decent setup like I have like for a blurry yeti microphone those are a pretty good standard for being a USB microphone so if you got something like a decent workspace that doesn't bounce sound too much and you have a good microphone or a decent microphone you can even get a blue snowball which is like fifty dollars and that'll still be pretty good since you can just play around with the settings to get what you need but don't have your gain up all the way or it's gonna or your microphone's gonna hear everything so yeah I recommend cost casting call club to go to for some either if you are a project manager like for an audio or video production hey computer stop stop damning on me stop that it's rude good god so if you are interested in stuff like that check out casting call club but they do have a few different tiers for how much you can be involved there's the free tier which allows you to be part of three production programs and do three uh, separate audition posts you know like if you have one project project one project two project three you can only go to the max of three but if you go for the next tier which is like one dollar a month that is allowing you to post like uh, or interact with ten projects and then there's the eight dollar a month or 667 a month if you purchase the year version in order to get the gold status and have unlimited amount of projects and auditions to handle so other than that I am seeking a volunteer editor maybe two I'm not sure who all wants to edit for me and again I unfortunately cannot compensate monetarily and the only thing I can really provide is support credit and involvement with by what I have going on but if you do want to be a volunteer editor please say so in the comments below and maybe if you have a uh, example on hand you can post within that comment saying hi I want to be a volunteer editor here's a sample of what I can do now I'm not looking like super high end you know over the top kind of craziness that happens on different videos I just mainly mean someone who can help me pick out the parts that are best for posting for a YouTube video. And in regards to like the Let's Plays that have been streams for the past year or so, those are stream there are streams that you have likely seen that I want to get out, but I haven't had the will to because mental illness really puts a hamper on everything I mean even doing this video I wrote the little script for this like days ago but I had no will to actually do a video as Jester until today because it's it's a lot of work dealing with mental illness but in regards to the full version of the streams there is a Twitter poll linked in the description which will be well limit of a week for asking if you want the full streams to be posted on here on YouTube or on Twitch you know over in your address bar wherever your address bar is maybe it, maybe it's over there if you have your phone sideways but then again you might be in the YouTube app and the YouTube app is semi-decent but I think that should about cover it uh, if you want to find out some more personal stuff I again will be having made the just to some heart to heart video that will accompany this video and it should be up about maybe an hour after this one posts so that way there's a little bit of a time difference so it's not like you find out stuff on just some heart to heart but you're confused because I mentioned some stuff in just another update in regards to just some heart to heart you know a little bit of confusion for you it does a body good so as I lean back in my chair during this whole video because I like to be laid back. 
please don't take that the wrong way, because I just realized it after I said it, and accidental humor is a little bit of a thing of mine. I accidentally make humorous situations or jokes. It happens. Watch a stream, you'll see. And, yeah. So, most importantly, I'm seeking editors and taking a poll for where you want the full streams to go. Uh, instead of, well, not instead of, for the, the accompaniment of the better, more edited versions of the streams. So yeah, that's about it. And you know what I always say? Praise the purple. And if I do not, see, if I do not see you, you have a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, and good night. See you buggies next time, and join the hive. Linked below. Thank you. Love you. Whoops. I can do it. Uh -huh.